this tutorial of Dreamweaver, we're going to show you how to create a massive detail page. So first step is to create a PHP file. So I'm going to create a new PHP create. And I'm going to save that file as master.php. Now I'm going to create another PHP file. And call that detail.php. So I'm here on the master file, and uh, like I said, we go to create a master details page. Uh, now there are two ways to do that. Uh, first way is uh, to create dynamic text fields and create a record set and start dragging <coughs> and creating all the fields manually, and then at the end link one of those. Uh, uh, fields in the in the table with the hyperlink to go to the to the details page. Now this is this process is very time consuming and I I think I've seen a couple of tutorials on on YouTube on how to do that. So I don't want to really create reinvent the wheel here. Instead, I want to show you how to use the um, the master detail page set here, which is very powerful to accomplish the same goal with only very few clicks. So I'm going to click on that. Now here it's asking me to create site which I already have and document type which is PHP since we created file and saved it as a PHP and the testing server and I already have that uh, set up um, so, so that Dreamweaver can connect to my server and uh, uh, test the code. Uh, number four, it's asking me to create a record set. So I'm going to click on that. And here, um, under the connection, I'm going to select my database name. And it's going to take a couple of seconds to load the data. Then here, I'm going to select Uh, the uh, database name, which is users in this case. And now Dreamweaver will populate all the uh, fields for me automatically. So I'm going to click on OK. And click one more time OK. So now Dreamweaver is asking me for the master detail page set. Um, so here in this field, in this box, you're going to see all the uh, table fields. And it's asking me what do I want to see on the master page. Um, so I don't want to see the user ID or the password. So I'm going to delete all that. So the only thing I want to see on the master page is the username, first name, and the last name. And then here it's saying link to detail from username. I'm just going to keep that selected as a username. This is the hyperlink that Dreamweaver is going to create for us automatically. And that's when a user clicks on that hyperlink, it's going to take him to the uh, master page. So username, we have to match it with the username here from the uh, past unique key. And then here it's asking me for the detail page name. And uh, I'm just going to type details.php. This is the details PHP page that we created at the, at the beginning of this demo. And here under the detail page field, it's asking me what do I want to see on the details page? And uh, I'm just going to keep all the fields selected. So go ahead and click on OK. And now.
now we should be able to test it. And here, as you can see, uh, when I created the all the uh, dynamic text field for me automatically on the master page, and in this case, is uh, I have only table of two uh, two columns. The uh, the first name and the last name actually it's three columns first name the last name and the username because this is what we selected on the details page you can see that Dreamweaver has created dynamic table for me with all this dynamic uh, fields and it has uh, all the uh, uh, fields that we have selected so let's go ahead and test that just upload this Now that we uploaded the files to the server, let's go ahead and test that in the browser. So, let's go here and say preview in Firefox. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds to refresh the page. So now as you can see, this is the master page and uh, we have a table with the username, first name and last name and this is uh, the data from uh, my table and I have three users, the admin, user 2 and user 3 with their first name and last name. So if I click on the username link, user 2, it automatically takes me to the details page and here I see all uh, the details about user 2, uh, the user ID, the person, the username, the password, and uh, everything else. If I go back to the master page and click on user 3, I see all the details for user 3. And the reason why Dreamweaver has created this hyperlink for the usernames because this is what we selected during the um, during the setup. Uh, you could uh, set it up to uh, uh, create the hyperlink for either the first name or the last name as you wish. But uh, this is uh, basically it. It's a uh, it's much faster and more efficient way to create a master page uh, uh, relationship. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and you could always find all the source files on uh, our website. Thank you.